Graduate graduates of the College of Environment and Design, family, friends, loved ones, and colleagues. Thank you for joining us for this brief video presentation. This was supposed to be a wonderful and of course in-person celebration of the wonderful achievements of our students. It didn't turn out that way and I know you're disappointed and so are we. Still, I want to extend my sincere congratulations to all our college graduates who managed to succeed in such adverse conditions. One thing that I personally learned from this ordeal is that humanity in general have somehow convinced ourselves that our intricate economic and spatial and social networks are somehow solid and that they can persist. And I think one thing that we did learn is actually that they are very vulnerable. So if we are going to thrive and not just survive on our planet, and if our planet is to survive and thrive as well, which is very important because, as I'm sure you know, good planets are very hard to find. If we are going to survive this challenge, we have to actually bring our forces together. There is simply lots and lots of room for improvement. But I'm very confident that you are actually part of the solution. We have a big improvement project in front of us and I know that you can do it and we can do it without you. People of my generation and previous generations, apparently we did not prepare sufficiently. So you are the one who, I'm sorry if this sounds as a terrible cliche, are going to have to say, the world and I'm very confident that you can do it for several reasons our college championed the values of resiliency and sustainability for many years ago before these terms were fashionable and I think one thing that the crisis is teaching us is that actually we did not embed sustainability the capacity of a system to survive and the and resiliency which is the capacity of a system to absorb shock we did not adopt these values in our social structures. And so we need your help. You're the ones who know more about this than we do, and we need your help. Second, as I'm sure you know, we are designers, planners, and preservationists, and we specialize in the design, planning, and preservation of physical space. We have been deprived from it. We can't gather as we normally do in, in these wonderful physical spaces, so we trade it the physical for the virtual and as you can see in this particular presentation as all other video presentations something big is missing you are the ones who actually know more about the design of physical space than anyone else and physical space is going to be wildly popular so we need you to design it the best way that it should be designed and finally, it's not just physical space that we specialize in, but it's public physical space. Yes, everyone can hang out successfully or not in their apartment or home or yard. These are private spaces. What this crisis has taught us is that we need vibrant, functional, healthy public spaces. And you are the ones who can do it. We do not specialize in this college in landscapes and settlements. We specialize in communities. So I do not know whether you'll become a designer of communities. Some of our graduates become designers and some do not. But what I hope for is that you become a community builder, a builder not just of the physical, but also of the social, the cultural, of what makes humanity ultimately be together. So I count on you. And I have absolutely no hesitation that you are the ones to bet on. So I want to congratulate you again and express my deepest appreciation for your patience and your resilience. You faced extraordinary circumstances that no one could have predicted and you did it. You are now automatically part of our alumni association and please take every opportunity to join us physically or virtually, whatever may be best, for many years to come. We wanna hear about your successes we want to hear about the wonderful things that you can do for our communities. So our commencement speaker is Ms. Chris Height, uh, a wonderful person and a friend of mine and a friend of the college. She, I'm proud to say, graduated from the CED with a BOA in 1987 and is currently the president of Dix Height, a very accomplished, very successful landscape architecture firms uh, that has offices in Georgia, Florida and Alabama. Ms. Hyde is a talented designer and she has many other talents and she specializes specifically in parks, mixed-use developments and commercial developments. So uh, she's a wonderful asset 
for all of us to have in the school. And, uh, you know, and then you never know who is going to be the next commencement speaker. Maybe in a couple of years, one of you. So thank you again. Let's welcome Ms. Chris Height and after that the program coordinators. Again, congratulations and go dogs. Hi, my name is Chris Height. I'm honored and pleased to address the University of Georgia College of Environment and Design Class of 2020. I'd like to congratulate each of you on your accomplishment. It's huge. Attaining a bachelor or a master in your area of study in the land arts takes a lot of work and it's something that you each should be very proud of. It's an interesting time to be graduating with a degree associated, associated with spatial design. During the course of isolation and social distancing, we've all observed the great need for better connections in some instances where folks are isolated and for more space for moving and recreating in others where there's more density. Lessons learned in this pandemic will help shape our cities and associated landscapes in the future. In whatever direction you decide to take your career, you each will have the ability to shape the future world. I'm excited to see what may come of it and the ideas that you will all bring to the table. And in addition, um, all those ideas that you'll help implement and foster. It really takes a team and you'll each have your own and unique uh, footprint and role. For myself, since graduating, since graduating from the University of Georgia with an undergrad in landscape architecture, my own experience has been wrapped in a pure passion for practice um, in landscape ar architecture, holistic landscape architecture, centered in community building and all the layers to which that pertains. How we recreate in space, for example, how we move through space, how building form defines space, how regulatory frameworks impact the whole and how ecological and environmental systems are layered and function in space. Influence and in practice, my personal influence and in practice has come through simply embracing life, living it to the fullest and, be, and really being truly open to opportunities presented, considering them and then if chosen, giving them my full focus. That attitude incorporates lifelong learning, and knowledge gained through practice and continued study, travel, and documentation through observation, photography, and sketching. Simply walking through a space informs your design toolkit. It's truly fun to be able to have a continued seat at the table, bringing ideas to the spaces where folks will live and love and play and then as a practitioner, ultimately seeing those spaces that you've thought about really come to life in the built form. That truly is, is the joy of being part of the land and building arts, seeing uh, your work come to fruition. It's pretty amazing. Despite the current situation, you all have a tremendous future to look forward to. There are many challenges out there that need your intellectual, creative, and enthusiastic energy to solve. I do have a few pieces of, of um, simple advice. One, continue learning. Love learning, embrace it. Um, learn every day. Um, I learn every day. Gather great people around you. Um, people that support you, people that challenge you, um, people that you can trust. Um, that will take you a long way as well. Always come to the table with a positive attitude. Uh, that goes an incredible, um, incredibly long way. Be open-minded to change. As you, as you can see, uh, change happens constantly and, uh, and we have to be able to adapt and then um, think about how those changes may, may inform the future. That really is, is what, your, uh, what your ask is going to be. Um, and then a couple of other things. One, just listen. Uh, it's taken me some time to learn how to listen, um, but you'll find that Sometimes you don't have to say much at all, you know, much at all, you just have to listen and that provides the answer. And then lastly, observe, uh, take the time to observe. As you're quickly learning, um, you know, you're gonna have tough times. In those times, pay attention because they actually may awaken you to the things that you weren't noticing. Um, and really those things that you weren't noticing may be the most important of all. 
and may may carry you to that to that next um, to that next chapter. I truly wish you all the best as you make your way over the next few months and then into your respective careers. I'm excited to see um, what each of you end up end up doing. I'm also excited for each of you for the for the possibilities and for the influence I know that each of each of you will have because after all the University of Georgia's College of Environment and Design provides one of the best foundations for practice in the Southeast, the United States, and the world. I truly wish you all the best, and thank you very much. Good afternoon, BLA students. I wish that we could all be here together, but I hope that you take some joy and pride in seeing the beautiful Serpentine Garden behind me as we celebrate together our class of 2020. I know this is not the quite the graduation address that any of us would have wanted. I feel that uh, with you as one of your faculty and the program director. The class of 2020 is extra special to me because many of you visited during the spring and the summer of 2016 when I was just starting out as the brand new BLA coordinator. I can remember those first visits, and it gives me great joy to see you all successfully launching in, out into the professional world. It's my joy and privilege to announce the names of our class of 2020. 42 graduates in 2020. And these are in alphabetical order. Julia Alcorn. Nicole Antalik Saban. Francis Arnall. Gray Brock, Caroline Brock, Devin Butler, Macon Chapman, Natalie Coleman, Alex Crow, Yawin Dang, Jonathan Diadigo, Olivia Dingas, Kanan Dyer, Hannah Fisher, Laurel Fox, Kunyang Go, Andrew Guterman, Aylin Han, Samantha Hintz, Madeline Holder, Claire Jarvis, Micah Jeffco, Ashley Keeney, Diana Kim, Calvin Com, Sydney Lane, Caroline Long, Braden Meadows, Serena Metropole, Natalie Minor, Kiet Nguyen, Elias Payne, Jose Perez Mendoza, Nathan Reinheimer, James Reimer, Henry Smith, Barrett Teague, Mackenzie Tobin, Shaylin Varing, Aubrey Whitehead, and Tiam Yakut. Congratulations, class of 20. We can't wait to see you again. To the 2020 MLA graduates. We have enjoyed working with you and we will miss you. And I know it's scary graduating in these uncertain times, but I believe that you'll have many great opportunities and we want to hear about them. So please keep in touch and share your successes with us. Now for the 2020 MLA graduates. James Anderson, Felipe Barantes, Kelsey Broich, Andy Dai, Jackson Ganaway, Yuanmin Gao, Sarah Hutchinson, Deborah Kim, Rohan Lee, Oliver Penny, Brandon Platt, Benjamin Pru, Matthew Query, Sadia Rice, Jinjing Ren, Erica Schroeder, Clayton Smith, Elizabeth Solomon, Minhut Tang, and Jiao Yang.
Congratulations to the MLA Class of 2020. Hello, I'm James Reap, graduate coordinator of the Master of Historic Preservation Program. My colleagues, Mark Reinberger, Wade Brown, Eric McDonald, Carrie Gutchess, and Scott Nesbitt, join me in congratulating our 35th graduating class. They are English Elizabeth Hinton, Elise Neve Hoganson, Maxwell Stevenson Nosbish, James Lee Rooks, Darcy Lillian Scales, Ashlyn Marie Stump, Victoria Marie Van Hus, and we especially want to recognize students inducted into Sigma Pi Kappa, the International Historic Preservation Honor Society, Hannah Rose Mayo and Timothy David Brown. Thank you and congratulations all graduates. We are celebrating the graduating students differently this year. Without being together in the same place, we still share the joy. I'm Amit Yilmaz, the Athletic Association Professor in the College of Environment and Design and the Program Coordinator of the Master of Urban Planning and Design. Now it's my pleasure to announce the 10th graduating class of our program. Julia Acorn, James Bradley, Natalie Brown, Samantha Eberhardt, Sean Griffith, Forrest Hoffman, Melanie Rausch, and Samantha Thrust. We're proud of your accomplishments and wish you the very best. Congratulations. <laughs>